<laughs> How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since you've seen me. I thought it was more convenient to film this now rather than tomorrow because tomorrow I'll be getting up at like 7am. Um, obviously, as you can tell by the title, it is tuning day. Uh, going up to the tuning lab to see Joel getting my car, obviously the RS3 AP, stage one tuned. And also my good friend Ben's S3 8V in manual, stage one tuned as well. So shortly in the video, I'm going to go through the modifications I've got on my car, if you don't know already, and also go through the spec list and mods Ben has got too. I'm hoping for about 400 brake horsepower. Joel has said his dyno doesn't really like the 8P too much, so stock figures may appear low on the uh, dyno numbers as well as stage one tuned. So if that is the case, I can always go to a different dyno one day and see what the actual power is. But obviously we can see the before and after gains of the tune. I'm hoping for 400 brake horsepower, that would be nice, so we'll see. We're now en route to the tuning lab, which is like 90 miles from where me and Ben both live. So it's about a two hour drive. So we've got a little bit of a trek on us. The weather's not too bad. Traffic doesn't seem too bad. So hopefully we get there in good time without any issues. So I'll see you at the tuning lab. Oh, it's going to be an expensive journey. Pit stop number one. So we have arrived at the tuning lab. This is Joel's RS3. So he's got an 8P as well, wrapped, it looks sick. Joel's over there having a look at the ECU. Ben's over there washing the S3. I think Ben's gonna be on the dyno first. It's a little bit easier to map, so I'll be on after. Strap on. We do not want it coming off.
original from the server from the OG. Yeah. Back to the original. I don't know exactly what's on it. I was going to go through all the locks. Yeah. Just make it more boost than that. Then I'm just going to shoot more air. Than Mental. That. 327 already. It's got something already yeah. on there. Yeah. I want to see what it is. And is that what you said? When you said about uh, there's a boost. Um, Over boost. Over boost. Yeah, it might be because it's already seen. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Made it certain. Right. So it's definitely overstock. Interesting. I didn't have an ink on this back then. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's gutted because sometimes you can have these in and be like, oh, I was wanting to have a 50 rate now. Yeah, <laughs> I always found it's hard for me to keep up with you sometimes, you know, mate. Really? Yeah. So, because that's already mapped, is yeah. that not going to fucking... He'll get more power out of it, yeah. of course. But it's just, the gains won't be as significant because it's already 30 break up in stock. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. In that yeah, sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty interesting though, isn't it? Really loud in there, so you probably couldn't hear what Joel was saying. But the car, Benz S3, just ran 327. Obviously, it should be stock power. But we completely forgot to mention it's got the forged turbo elbow, also the uh, turbo muffler delete, and obviously, it's got a carbon intake on there too. Um, so we thought it was overboosting, or Joel actually thought it was a different map on it originally, but we forgot it's got certain modifications we didn't mention, so it makes a bit more sense now. So it's already running. Obviously, on the last run, it made 318, but the one before it said 327. So like down the line, yeah. if I was to put that DVD back on it, would it adjust? Yeah, it's, it's literally just a case of as long as it can hold boost, yeah, it can hold boost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it can't hold boost, yeah. you'll hear it. Like you said, just coming back out. Yeah, yeah. So it's coming out the diaphragm, basically. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, just leave it on there for. Yeah, exactly. So it is sticking on there. See how it performs as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and then it won't make power, yeah. so it doesn't away. Yeah. They put a new one on, yeah. and then and we're all oh, good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yours is holding. Yeah. So to, to make 318, 326, 327, 324, rather than over 320, yeah. a 1.3 bar. That's fine. Decent. Sweet. You, got, you want stuff that lives on yours, I think. Yeah. And maybe in parts. Yeah. I don't like doing the parts, but it's, yeah, yeah. it's one of those. Yeah, that's fair enough. Whatever, yeah, it might be worse. Cool. Well, my cap might melt anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, it, and, only make three, and it'll make 300 break. Yeah. <laughs> I, I said that earlier on. I said, I'm going to leave today with his car running more power than mine. <laughs> Should be sound. We never know. Yeah, cool. Sound, mate, sweet.
Yeah, that's wrong. I think it's good for the weight that. I mean, all the logs are well within spec. The turbo's under is really good control. Yeah. With a few, you know, tiny bit of ignition pull with normal, well within the safe limit. Lambda's absolutely perfect. The steel trim is spot on. Yeah. Everything's perfect. Sweet, mate. Yeah, considering you've still got a standard down plug and cap, 370. Mate, Banging, mate. Um, 370 yeah. brake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know what you're going to get. You've got a good car. Yeah, yeah. The intake, the elbow makes a hell of a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I do an R, an F3, it's, it's crazy. 27 horsepower, and that is bonkers, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, but it was already making slight yeah, Right. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Like it had a, some of a light mat. Okay. Hence why it was only. It did what it do 327, 325, 318. So, yeah. yeah. Decent. Strong. Buzzing. Um, we're now running two 1.45 bars, holding it really nice. Yeah, good. So Ben's best run was uh, 498 newton meters of torque and 370 horsepower. Yeah, crack on. <laughs> Free time. See, a lot of you wouldn't have heard the new exhaust yet. That's going to be in a completely different video. Um, but obviously, this will be a good example of how good it sounds in person. So, soon enough, we'll do a full spec list um, of the exhaust itself. So the best stock run we achieved was 348 brake horsepower. Joel was actually really surprised by this. Seaman usually his dyno reads about 20 to 30 brake less on the RS38P. <laughs> yeah,
Decent, mate. Um, then we can put your stock one up. Yeah. I mean, it's still dropping because the temps. Yeah. But we are nearly up to 400 mark now. Yeah, man. But it's heat, isn't it? It's yeah, just it's, all heat. It's all heat yeah. Decent, mate. Sweet. <laughs> So as you can see in these clips guys, I'm spraying water into the fan, which is obviously blowing air into the intercooler. The engine temps were fine, but the charge temps were so high, the car was struggling to cool down after each dyno run, just due to the fact of the 8P having metal sensors and components. So the cooling down rates are much slower, whereas the 8V has got plastic components, so it cools down a lot quicker. Um, so obviously this was pulling time in, causing the power levels to reduce as well. We noticed after each dyno run, the power levels were just reducing and reducing by like 10 brake horsepower each time. But after we let the car cool down, um, you know, a significant amount of time, the power levels would go up again. So the car was making 591 newton meters of torque, which is insane on its best runs. And was making 398 brake horsepower on its best runs, which is obviously a little bit lower than expected, but then the dyno wasn't liking the 8P very much. Um, so it'd be nice to get it on a dyno um, and see its true figures. Obviously, usually brake horsepower and torque are very samey. So it makes sense for the brake horsepower in true conditions on the road to probably be around 410 to 420. But obviously, I can't prove that because it didn't do it on the day but still a significant increase in power as well. It's worth also mentioning that obviously the car stock from factory is 340 brake horsepower. Um, the car has got a full system on there, four and a half inch downpipe, um, 034 motorsport intake. So I was expecting probably a 20 brake horsepower increase, but obviously due to the dyno, not liking the RS3 8P too much, it did make 348. Just to give you a bit of understanding of how much less it is, is uh, putting out, as obviously that's only an eight brake horsepower increase over stock. If I remember correctly, I think it's because Joel said there's no mass airflow sensor on the uh, RS38P, so the, the VCDS struggles to read how much air is coming to the car and somehow struggles to predict the accurate readings of the brake horsepower. That could be completely wrong, but I think that's what he said. There's a few numbers for you. Best run was 398 horsepower. And um, torque wise, the best run we had on one of the map revisions of 591 Newton meters, which I believe converts to 435 foot pounds of torque. There they are. Good news, So guys, I've come in the car. It's, it's literally too noisy for me to even speak in there. You can probably tell by some of the clips when Joel is talking, you can't hear anything over the fans, the cars. So I thought I'd do a little bit of speaking now. Car, perfect. And the burbles with the straight through system as well. Essentially straight through system. It sounds insane. The crackles are awesome. 
Um, and obviously they're only more apparent when I give it some beans. So if I'm putting it along normally, you're not going to hear any of that anyways. It's really nice. Ben's car pulls like an absolute train. Um, the best the RS3 done today, we had a few issues and I'll explain that in a minute. Not really issues. The best it did was 398 horsepower, which is ridiculous. I was hoping for 400 brake and we're literally there. Um, as Joel said, this dyno he's got is really harsh on the 8P for some reason. And it's such a hard car to tune. Um, the first stock run was awesome. We expected it to be low just because of how the 8Ps usually are on the dyno. Joel usually sees that they're 310 brake horsepower or something. Obviously, they're 340 stock. So that's like 30 brake less than they should be. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a harsh dyno, but on the stock run, it made 348, which is awesome. Really good considering how uh, Savage usually is on the dyno. He said it's the best pulling uh, RS3 8P he's had on there. He was really surprised. Um, going back onto the issues we had, the way these cars deal with heat is terrible. Obviously, I've got a stock intercooler. So once he did a few um, map revisions and we, we gave it a few runs, <clears throat> uh, the car made 390. And from there, every single run went down 10 horsepower. We're like, shit, what's wrong here? Joel was thinking, is your cap melted? Um, potentially there's a blockage in somewhere with the boost. There could be a boost leak, a blockage in the intake or something like that that's preventing it. Because the engine temps were fine but the intake temps were way too hot. And obviously in a dyno, we, the only uh, fan available at the time was a smaller fan. Joel would have liked it if he had his bigger, more powerful one running. Um, so yeah, it went it went 390 brake horsepower, 380, 370, 360, went all the way down to 340. We were really worried, like shit. We're gonna have to do a bit of digging and find out what's wrong. Uh, we went out for a little spin in Ben's car and let the car cool down for a very long time. And straight after that, it pulled 398. So it shows it's just cooling. We tried to get for the 400 figure, but just because of the heat at the time, it, it just wasn't having it. Um, Joel reckons on road in, uh, you know, perfect conditions, he'd like to say it would be around 410, but obviously I can't prove that because it didn't show that on the day, but it is what it is. I'm super happy with it. Um, yeah, it's worth mentioning, Joel could have, you know, taken off some of the safety features. Joel sticks to his guns and tries to keep all the safety features on, which he's done. So apparently all the logs were absolutely perfect on the car and it was running beautifully. So it's really good to know all the safety features are still in place. He's not had to take anything off to achieve a power. Certain, without mentioning any names, certain tuners will take off the safety features of the car, which is obviously putting the engine in jeopardy, pistons, etc., just for the sake of achieving a certain power. So we're literally at 400 brake horsepower, really happy all the safety features are on. So I, I couldn't ask for anything more. Um, so also, what have I done? Obviously, I've had a little bit of uh, burbles added to the car. So obviously, this is the first time you've heard the new system since it's been done. I'm going to be making a whole separate video of the exhaust. Ben from Pads Fab filmed a load of clips for me, so I'll be putting that in a separate video, talk about specs, dimensions, blah, 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 and a bit more of a sound comparison, but I'm sure, well, let me say this now, videos don't do justice. That is so loud. Like, I'm having to walk back and hold my ears. It's ridiculous. You can't see in there too long. It's, it's absolutely mental. And I mean, it performed so well too. So that's awesome. Not taken off static, uh, limiter taken off too, so I can rev it past 4K while I'm stationary. So it sounds much better. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this, but... <laughs> Sounds absolutely insane. Yeah, behind me, I don't know if I can flip, can I flip the camera? No, I can't. Um, ben is currently having some burbles added to his too. He's gonna take a few runs, see if it's too much or too less, and we'll go from there. none of Ben's spec and modifications. He has sent me a massive list, but I'm honestly not going to remember all of it. Uh, the key ones are, so it's a manual car. It's uh, got a stock exhaust other than a res delete. Um, super sport seats, which are insane. It's got the B&O sound system, which is also insane. Probably one of the best sound systems I've ever heard on a car. Um, awesome subwoofer built in in the boot. Um, it's got the Maxton kits all round, spoiler lips, skirts, front splitter, which we installed together. Um, he has got a GFB DV Plus diverter valve to stick back on at some point soon. He's got VBT um, discs and yellow stuff pads at the front as well. He's got a forged enclosed carbon uh, fibre induction kit. He's got the forged turbo elbow. He's got a forged turbo muffler delete. He also got the RS3 honeycomb front grille, carbon fibre wing mirrors. He's got uh, forged spaces all round. One of the bigger, more important modifications for the tune was the RTS twin friction clutch and flywheel too. 
I should mention that's actually a single mass flywheel and for anybody wondering it doesn't really add any extra noise and performs brilliantly. Just before we wrapped up for the day Joel did take me out in my car once it was done but um, you'll see my reaction anyway so enjoy. so good mate that exhaust is ridiculous isn't it videos never do justice either <laughs> more natural as well do you know what I mean stick the rears down as well I do this when I go through the yeah town. it's got to be done isn't it? Bad, isn't we? <laughs> I think it's one of the rare cars that the rears go all the way down yeah I know probably staying up a little bit <laughs> that is nuts isn't it that drives really well yeah Doesn't feel like my car sat here with this power. Oh, it rumbles lovely now, doesn't it? Once you get the heat into the, yeah. tank, into the car as well. <laughs> I hate this bit. So much shitty down. roads, isn't there? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! That is bonkers. That is absolutely ridiculous. I got a dry mouth. Oh my god. My hair is all over the place. Jesus Christ. You smashed it, mate. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, mate. <laughs> that is mental. Oh man. We just got a big bat. I want those, a couple of stickers. stickers. Yeah, man. Little stickers, medium stickers. Yeah. They're free. You can have as long as you use them. Yeah. We spent 900 quid on them. Yeah. Give them away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what would you like? What, what I, you I, I took a couple of small ones. Yeah, do what you like. Because I'll probably stick on the back. Star side windows. On yeah, yeah, do it, mate. On the black. On Send the rear. Just a couple of little subtle ones. Yeah, a couple of subtle ones. Little ones. Is that right? Do you mind if we get a medium one as well? Is that right? Yeah. It's advertising for me, isn't it? Yeah, fucking right, mate. Sweet mate, much appreciated. Really nice. Legend. You too. Joel smashed it. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, mate. Big up tuning lab. See I'll see you soon, all right? <laughs> Catch you soon, mate. Nice one. Yeah, Thank you. It's a few ponies leaving the shop today, mate. So we're back at the shell we were at earlier on. Time for some more fuel. Car is unbelievable. I was literally screaming like a little kid in that video. Mental, mental, mental. Absolutely mental. It sounds mental. Performs so well um yeah yeah so guys that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it i'm here repping the tuning lab hoodie joel thank you so much if you're watching this mate me and ben had a class day you're a great host and you know so much shit about the cars and made it a really good experience so thank you very much mate you can find joel on instagram facebook and of course google he's got a website there so check out the tuning lab i'll put all of his links down below in the description of course but if you did enjoy it guys please give the video a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already the car is now an absolute animal and you're going to see lots more of it soon so i'll see you soon peace